Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about the wild allele and the mutant allele. Particularly we will be concentrating more towards their differences. Before we start this topic, if you want to watch the complete video on what allele is, you can click the link from the i button or the link is in the description. Now let's get to our topic. First of all, let's consider a population of 100 insects and we call them species X. And when we look at the gene pool of the population, we see it has got diversity of genes present there. And these genes are having different functions within the population. So to understand wild and mutant allele, let's take out one gene from that gene pool as shown in the figure. And its alleles will be present on the chromosomes in this manner shown in the diagram. Suppose this gene codes for a particular protein which is able to produce a venom protein within the population. That means it's a venom gene now. And you know a gene has always two variant forms called the alleles. So we can say this venom gene has two alleles. One is dominant allele denoted by capital A letter or the uppercase A letter and one is recessive allele denoted by small letter A. And it must be noted here if the population does not have any mutated allele for that particular venom gene then at that time the allele will be represented as such that is capital letter A and small letter A without any symbols. But if mutation prevails or occurs in the venom gene, then symbols change for the alleles also. We use superscripts that time. The A allele, that is the venom allele, when expresses itself encodes for a normal venom protein. That means it's a normal allele in the population. In order to understand the wild and mutant allele, let's say within the population there is a mutation within the venom gene. The A allele, that is the venom allele, when expresses itself encodes for a normal venom protein. That means it is the normal allele in the population and we call this allele a wild allele denoted by A plus sign, plus as the superscript. But sometimes this A allele fails to encode a normal protein within the population due to some mutations and that time we call this allele a mutant allele denoted as A letter without any superscript. But it must be noted we denote a normal allele with plus superscript only when mutant allele is within the population. Otherwise if the mutant allele does not prevail in the population then at that time normal allele is denoted without any superscript under normal conditions. So this is the case with mutant allele and wild alleles. And it has been observed due to some genetic shifts that mutant allele gets transformed back to the normal wild allele in the population. This is all about mutant and wild allele in a brief manner. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.